guys, Dan here from Waves. I hope you're well. Me, well, I'm a little bit frustrated. I'm working on this mix and this happened. My computer has run out of power. So I'm stuck dead in my tracks here. What do I do? Well, we've got a few options. I can increase the hardware buffer size in the playback engine, but I'm already at its maximum, so that's no help. Now I could follow the advice here and deactivate some plugins, but that's not helpful because I'm still working on this mix. What else can I do? Well, I could reach from a credit card and upgrade my Mac Mini here, which is a late 2012 2.5 gigahertz dual core Intel i5 with 16 gigs of RAM. And to replace that is gonna cost me around about 16 to $1,700. Money I just don't have at the minute. So there must be a more affordable option to getting my mix done, getting the plugin processing off this machine and onto a DSP device. Well, there is SoundGrid Impact Server. I'm using the Impact Server, but you can do this, for example, with a Waves Proton Server. We've got one here in the studio. Let's plug it in. Let's see what it can do. So this is my session with about 50 odd tracks in it. I'm using Studio Rack throughout to host my Waves plugins. And these are the plugins that I'm using so far in my mix, just before the system ran out of power. And as you can see from the system usage, all four available threads are pretty much maxed out with the total spiking and the system falling over. Now, if the impact server plugs in, I can simply load up any instance of Studio Rack, click this drop down menu here, and I'll load all of the plugin processing from the Mac straight to the sound grid. And on this system, with the amount of plugins that I've got so far, it takes about 10 to 20 seconds for this to complete. And then, if we look at our system usage now, it's barely being used. And if we just put the session back into playback, The session works perfectly. In Studio Rack, you'll see at the top left, there's an indication to how much processing power is left on the impact server. And we're using around about 50%, which is great because it means I can just keep on stacking plugins in this session on the impact server, knowing, safe in the knowledge that my Mac shouldn't fall over again before I get this mix finished. For this setup, I've got the impact server connected very simply via Cat6 into the ethernet port on the Mac mini. To get this running, you'll need a copy of SoundGrid Studio, which you'll find for free in your Waves account. To learn how to set up the Impact Server with your own audio interface, do click that card at the top right of the screen to watch MPA's video showing you exactly how to do it. So to sum up this video, if you often find that your computer hits the limit of what it's capable of in terms of plugin processing, then you want to check out the Impact Server. It gives you peace of mind, which should help you to mix with confidence, mix with creativity, and yeah, you shouldn't see this anytime soon.